Dr. Higgins is here today. He's our 55th president. And when we do these unveiling things, I like to give a few factoids about our new president that you may or may not know, uh, know about, him, or her, uh, as the case may be. Uh, so with Dr. Higgins, uh, first, you may not know, he was a football star before he gravitated to medicine. First uh, in Albany, New York, nice. uh, in high school, a legend, a living legend, and then at Dartmouth. Um, unfortunately, his knees uh, encountered some, uh, some tackles along the way, and so he had to gravitate uh, to medicine. Um, another factoid about uh, Dr. Higgins is that after he finished his training in cardiothoracic surgery and left Albany, uh, he gravitated to the Midwest. And uh, Dr. Higgins has had stops in Pittsburgh, Detroit, here in Chicago, which he may want to talk to us about, um, and Columbus, Ohio, but he never quite got that brass ring of Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> he's hoping that with oh, the street cred God. he gets from being STS president, maybe. Are you no. serious? No. <laughs> In all seriousness, I think Dr. Higgins may have the most prestigious job in all of American surgery, no lie. Uh, he is the chair of surgery at Johns Hopkins, uh, which has this unbelievable history. Uh, and I was lucky enough to visit with him in the fall and get to see a little bit of it. So it's incredibly impressive that uh, he is the, the chair of surgery there and we bask in his reflected glory. So one last uh, factoid about Dr. Higgins, and I'll let him talk, or actually first then we'll have the unveiling. Um, I often talk about the secretaries in our history and how important they've been in terms of relations with our staff. And I probably don't talk enough about our treasurers. Uh, but going back to 2002 when we opened up shop, we've had an incredible string of treasurers. Uh, first Dr. Matheson, um, then Dr. Carolyn Reed, uh, who was terrific, who then handed the baton to Dr. Higgins, who was terrific, and now of course Dr. McGilvery. So every time we get a paycheck on payday, everybody say a little prayer and a thank you to Dr. Higgins and his group uh, who made that possible. So uh, that's, those are my factoids on Dr. Higgins, but before I hand the ball to him, Cheryl, we typically uh, have somebody lucky enough to actually be the unveiler. And yes. who's, who's that this time? Uh, this year we, it is Gabby. Gabby, Gabby our yeah. newest employee. Yeah. Yeah. Gabby has the honor. Congratulations. Gabby, what do you got for us? I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Yay! Hey, Bob. Well, nice. well, obviously, you know, it's, I was not expecting this. It's kind of humbling. Uh, this responsibility is uh, extraordinary, um, but like every great organization, it uh, it stands on the shoulders of the people who do all the real work. And uh, we are volunteer leaders, uh, mostly figureheads, um, but we bask in your reflected glory because you do all the work. So as a servant leader, I think it's a real honor um, to be your advocate uh, and potentially be out in front even though knowing that you're standing behind me um, to do great things. Uh, it's also humbling to be standing in front of this wall with so many other great people who have contributed their livelihood to make this organization great. Um, and uh, I think it's um, uh, a special, special honor. You know, my mom raised three boys by herself never expecting anything from us except for doing the best things in our lives to make her proud because she taught us to be strong and um, people who looked out for others so um, with her in mind I say thank you because this kind of opportunity as you know doesn't come to many people and certainly not to many people of color who start out in difficult times. I think we have a big challenge as an organization to not only represent those who have the best of health care and benefit from all of our great skills, but those who don't have access. And so my mindset will be in the memory of my mom to look out for those people who are underrepresented in medicine, who don't have access to great care, 
who have not benefited from all the things that we can provide and try to level the playing field. So uh, it's an honor and a privilege, um, and I will try to live up to your expectations. And I would encourage you to think that um, as we go forward, um, we have a really special, special opportunity to do some great things. And there are many people coming behind me who hopefully will um, follow in our footsteps. I want to take a minute to talk a little bit about transitions. Again, they're always hard. Uh, and we're about to go through some unique and challenging transitions in your leadership structure. And I want to say thanks to Rob, who's been a great friend and ally to me personally, but to this organization for many years. We've celebrated him a number of times. We enough. will continue and off almost. Yeah. After a while, I said, okay, enough's enough. <laughs> but I think um, he had vision and, and uh, commitment uh, that is pretty special in Association Medicine, and I, I know you all appreciate that. Uh, so we appreciate his contributions to the success of the Society of Thoracic Surgeons. And I, I know all the volunteer leaders feel that way, and I hope that you guys will feel that way. Um, we also have a special opportunity to welcome uh, our next CEO and Executive Director, Elaine Weiss. And we are really proud to have her join us um, uh, because she comes with such distinction and such now high expectations. Uh, and this is a pretty cool opportunity to kind of recognize the past and see our future going forward. And so we're excited to have you here with us, Elaine, and look forward to great things from you. Uh, and I know everybody here is uh, really going to do everything they can to make you a success and continue the momentum that the Society of Thoracic Surgeons has, uh, has had for so many years. So since 1964, thanks, Rob. For all you've done. <laughs> and to everybody else. I was nine. I was nine. <laughs> <laughs> you look uh, like you could have been here and do all that work. <laughs> so thanks so much. It's really an honor. And uh, I look forward to spending time with you guys and hope that we can um, get to know each other well. And welcome Elaine and say thanks to Rob and, and uh, get uh, kicked off on a great uh, start for this year. So thanks so much again for doing this. Thank you. All right. Thank you.